Welcome to the next lesson. And in this lesson today, we're going to learn how to calculate concrete. All right. Now, the thing of it is, is when you're calculating concrete, you're just basically doing what you did in your last lesson, your last project, and it is calculating volume. Because what you're doing is you're just filling up a form with a liquid fluid at the time, and that's at in the plastic state, that's what concrete actually is. It's poured in. So what we got to figure is just the basic volume. This is just a volume problem. And uh, this right here is going to be my concrete pad. It's 40 foot long, 12 foot wide, 4 inches thick. Basic thing that I have to do is I got to figure this thing up. And this is just an easy volume problem because I would go in here, volume equals it's the rectangular rectangular volume formula volume equals length times width times height basic now first thing we got to do is make sure that our units are all the same and always do it in feet so length is 40 foot width is 12 foot but our thickness is four inches all right to figure out how many feet is in 4 inches, you basically take your 4 and you divide it by 12 because there is 12 inches in 1 foot. So you're just trying to figure out what the decimal is for 4 inches. And what I get is 0.3, 3, and so on. I'm going to put 4 on there, and that's in feet. So 4 inches and 0.334 feet are the same thing. All right. Now let's plug in some stuff. All right, volume equals my length is 40 foot, as you see here. My width is 12 foot, as you see up here at the top. And then of course my thickness will be my height, and it is 0.334 feet. All righty, just work out the equation, folks. 40 times 12 times 0.334 it is 160.32 and don't forget your units you got feet times feet times feet would be feet cubed okay and that's volume remember volume is a three axis uh, way of figuring so you have to it has to be cubed Make sense? Surface area, if you're finding square footage, it would be a two axis. It'd be feet squared, so just remember that. Now, if you're wanting to buy concrete, I'll guarantee if you call a company up and tell them you got 160.32, uh, nine times out of 10, they'll be like, what? You want that much concrete? Because they, they think you're talking about uh, cubic yards because that's what they sell it in. They don't sell it in, in uh, cubic feet. They sell it in cubic yards. So we've got to uh, convert this. Now, this is a quick conversion factor. I go ahead and I put down 160 feet cubed. Put it over one. Put on the other side. And I want to put on this side feet cubed. There's 27 and 1 yard cubed. All right, this is just going through the technical way of it. And I'm just going to show you how things cancel out. If you look here, this is foot cubed, this is foot cubed. They cancel out. And when that happens, only unit left is yards cubed. So you take 160.32 and you divide it by 27. 2 divided by 27 and then up here at the top would be yards cubed. And whenever you do that, divide it by 27, you're going to end up with a number of 5.9 yards cubed. And basically, if I were uh, if I were going to order this, I'd go ahead and order six yards. Uh, 
rule of thumb sometimes is uh, when you're ordering concrete because this pad might be sitting on unlevel ground. There might be some uh, indentures in the ground and uh, you might, most sometime in construction sites you usually go about 5% overage just so that you make sure that you account for waste and some of these dips and crannies that you're going to have underneath this pad just to make sure that you can fill it up. And that's basically how it happens is uh, this would take six yards and typically depends on the type of concrete you get most times uh, it's about around hundred dollars a cubic yard so you're looking at about six hundred dollars to fill this pad here and uh, again I just showed you up here going from cubic feet to the cubic yards this is just a technical way of doing it, but uh, in all rea reality, all thing you have to do is take 160.32 cubic yards and divide it by 27, and you get your number. All right, try out your OS problem.